We've narrowed it down to three VP candidates. They still need to be vetted, but each of them are excellent options, all possessing the three M's. The three M's? Male, married, and military. Alden McKay served two terms as governor of Nevada, a swing state. He's pro-life, pro-guns, pro-all things Republican. I know what you're getting at. Besides a speeding ticket a few years ago, I'd say I'm squeaky clean. He's squeaky cleaner, right? Before he joined the Marines, his side gig was giving late night scrub and tugs to rich foreign dudes at an after hours bathhouse. Scrub and tugs? It's when a man gets his. <gasps> Never mind, I figured it out. Senator Joe Walton from Texas, ex-Navy SEAL, married to his high school sweetheart, loved by his fellow conservatives because... I believe taxes are way too high. People should keep their money. Nobody's better at keeping his money than a senator. When he was 26, he was part of a scheme that involved selling expired condoms. He made $475,000, never reported it to the IRS. How did you find that out? You don't want to know. Governor Bill Wagner of Missouri. Governor Wagner graduated from Columbia, served in the Senate for eight years before becoming governor, highly respected by the far right. I was a Coke dealer. Excuse me? Back in college. I used the money to pay off my student loans. I even flew to Bogota a couple of times. I didn't do it for very long. Only one person in the world knows about it. But it happened. I would love nothing more than to be your vice president, and I would hate to be defined by the sins of my past. That said, I think it's only fair you know everything about me before you make your decision, the good and the bad. He's perfect. We couldn't even dream him up. Even Democrats love him. But cocaine? Cocaine aside, he has everything we need. Military experience, charisma, family man. Don't forget felon. He didn't lie about it. That says something. Think we can clean him up in time? We can try. Good. Get on it.